A war of words between a British rescue diver and Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is playing out in a downtown LA courtroom. It started with a Twitter spat and then escalated into a defamation lawsuit. CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live in downtown LA with a look at the controversy. Cara, is Musk himself there this morning? Uh, he is not here yet, Suzanne, but everything has gotten underway inside this courthouse with dozens of potential jurors being questioned. British diver Vern Unsworth is suing Musk, who called him a pedo guy on Twitter. Here's what Unsworth said as he headed in this morning. Well, I've come 5,000 miles just to get a, a verdict that it's not true. All this centers around this capsule. Musk sent it to Thailand in July of 2018, hoping it would be used to rescue 12 boys and their soccer coach from a flooding cave. It wasn't. And after the team was successfully brought out, Unsworth was asked about the sub. He called sending it a PR stunt and said Musk could stick his submarine. Now, as images of the successful rescue aired all around the world, a very public spat took place during sent a couple of now-deleted tweets that Unsworth said suggested he was a pedophile. At the same time, Musk reportedly made comments to a BuzzFeed journalist suggesting Unsworth move to Thailand for a child bride. Musk did issue a July 18th apology through tweets saying, Unsworth's actions against me do not justify my actions against him, and for that I apologize to Unsworth and to the companies I represent as leader. The fault is mine and mine alone. Musk lawyers also spoke out, claiming their clients' comments were insults, not allegations that in South Africa, where he grew up, pedo guy was considered a common insult. So back here live, the jury will have to consider uh, what they believe to be the nature of those comments, whether they were defamatory. Again, jury selection has been underway this morning. Opening statements could begin this afternoon.